housing market crash, recession, who knows? A lot of people have a problem right now considering buying a home because they think the values are gonna drop. I'm gonna ask a few builders if they're having the same issues with people coming in and buying homes, are they still buying? So you guys stay tuned to this video and hopefully it gives you some education. With businesses closing because of the coronavirus pandemic, we're now seeing a lot of people unfortunately heading for unemployment. With Americans losing their jobs, we're now headed to 10 million unemployment claims. Caesars Palace now predicting they'll let go 3,200 employees after the coronavirus pandemic. Manufacturing industries shutting down the first time since World War II. Chase Bank now predicting recession. The Federal Reserve is now printing more money into an oblivion. And the final question is, is 2020 the year for the housing market crash? Let's find out. First, let's take a look at what contributed to the 2008 market crash. You had lenders putting buyers in homes that could not afford the payment. Also refinance boom. There was a ton of equity in properties and rates were really low. The 2008 financial crisis remains a tough act to follow as millions of Americans lost their homes after lenders sold them loans when they could not afford them. Let's look at this together to find out if people are still coming in to buying homes in this crisis in 2020. What is uh, the volume of people still coming in to buy new homes? I wanna see if there's a drop off here uh, really because of all the stuff that's going on. We got the layoffs going on here. And um, I know there's a lot of people out of state still buying, but with the layoffs and also people speculating on recession and also market crash for the housing market, I wanna see you know what their thoughts are and uh, do some more investigation. So let's go in and take a look at it. But right before this happened, we were booming. Yeah. I mean, we had, was been what two weeks? Yeah, I was. I mean, everybody was booming. I think everything was going I had great. Five sales, or we did collectively. Yeah. Five sales the weekend right before they shut everything down. Okay. In one weekend. On one weekend. And that's a lot for this area. Well, I can tell you that I get a lot of people that are asking me. You know, are we going through recession, doom and gloom. You know, is is things going to start to slow down? And I think the best place to go start is new homes because people see that that's a desirable thing and if you know we have a lot of out-of-state buyers and people that are looking so mm -hmm. i was always wondering you know what is the amount of volume that you guys had is it the same as it was prior to this whole covid 19 and all the things that's well, going on see prior to that we were kind of in the winter season okay and then we were kind of slow but as soon as january the end of january hit then sure we, then we're picking up okay we're picking up a lot now for this community though we had nothing to sell. We sold out everything. Sure. And then we moved up a new section. Uh huh. And the people that have been dying to get in here. Sure. They're still wanting to buy. So it's a nice area over here. I think it just depends on what what they do for a living too, because a lot of the people that we deal with, this is not affecting them. Anyways. Sure. So we're not. We don't have. We don't. Not take. You know, we don't have a lot of restaurant workers or hospitality workers. And stuff. Yeah, and they're all laid off too, you know. Yeah. Um, and a lot of it is what I'm getting is, is if they're laid off that we can no longer, they, if somebody needs a loan like that, then they mm -hmm. can no longer get into getting home financing. They have to hold off until they get back mm -hmm. to work. So even if that's the case, you're running into issues like that? Only, we only have one, and mm -hmm. I don't even know if it's legit. I mean, he's actually an agent too. Um, and he's finding to get his earnings money deposit back. But we're telling him that, hey, if you want to buy any Westside home, sure. within the next six months, you know, we'll take your earnings money and we'll apply it towards that. But um, yeah. based on the stories, uh, 
And I'm actually in the process of escrow too. I'm actually buying a home right now. It's actually an expensive home. Is it? Yeah, but it's like, it's kind of scary. And I, I asked um, American West um, Pulte slash, I'm like, hey, if we could pull out, would you give us a rest money plus back? He says, no. I'm like, okay, we'll just deal with it then. You know? So they're still pretty stern on keeping it and not letting people back out just because it's a contract thing, it's right? It's a contract. Um, and I understand. Um, so you see no no drop in the amount of people coming in, really. You pretty much see a steady flow. Oh, no, flow. no, it's been, the last two days have been dead. Have been dead, and okay. Totally dead. Okay. Um, I had one guy that showed up this morning. I didn't know who he was. He didn't make an appointment, so I didn't let him in. But no, it's been dead. The last two days have been dead. And then my partner, he worked the last two days, has been dead too. But we have two online salespeople okay. on our internet presence and they're scheduling appointments for us, which is actually totally helping. And then with our virtual tours that we have and stuff like that, it's really helping. Do you foresee like in the future that, that it's gonna pick up again when all this oh, thing? Oh, for sure. Yeah, and I think this is maybe just a hiccup or a bump. Mm -hmm. A lot of people though, their recession, market crash, housing crash, there's gotta be more I mean, look, we have something going on globally, but it's, there's got to be more of it. No, no, I, I actually believe it's going to pick up. And just okay. based on the attitudes of the people we do have in, I mean, we're buying a house. We need a house. Correct. You know, we don't want to run anymore. Right. You know, so. Oh, well, it's good to know. I mean, yeah, we had a slight drop here in the last couple of days, but from your experience and what you've been seeing, not much of a drop off. It's maybe slowed down, but not crazy where people are just not coming in to buy new no, homes. We're no. still getting applications and things like that. Oh, for sure. Okay. There's not a huge drop off from what she's saying on the amount of people coming in to buy new homes. It's a natural situation where you're gonna have less people come in to get into a home, but uh, there was no alarming information that she provided to me. So I'm gonna go take a look at a, a couple other places here, take a look around, also ask a few questions and uh, do a little bit more investigation. That way I can get a better understanding of what people are thinking right now or just really what you know companies or businesses or just what everybody out there is going through you look at the stock market and you look at what's going on with uh, treasuries and you look at what's going on with the bond market and the Fed has come in saying that they're gonna rescue us by you know QE4 and paying this in paying this money into stimulating the economy and um, you know looking at this whole picture of what I see on rates and mortgage rates and bonds right now I think everybody's just trying to catch a breath uh, in these markets and you know rates we saw them go up quite a bit recently doesn't mean they're gonna stay there forever and especially when they start buying into these bonds uh, we're really gonna start to see a huge transition uh, into rates starting to get more into a normal market and uh, so the liquidity within these banks liquidity that's within businesses right now they're stopping and shutting their doors because they're using the money that they currently have or the liquid that they have to keep their business floating you know they're trying to float until this this whole storm thing here passes and um, that's what i'm getting right now now we saw an uptick in rates it doesn't mean it's not a good time to consider getting a loan because I think at some point you're gonna see where the markets are gonna get stable again you know you have a real big teeter-totter going on in the stock market and so I have a lot of people waiting you know they've contacted me for a refinance and they're waiting they're saying Dan watch the market as a hawk when you see this thing turn uh, then please give me a call and we'll get this thing going again so uh, again I think this is this could be you know a few months but I do think there's a, a rainbow at the end of all this. And um, so you see a lot of uncertainty, a lot of people, uh, you know, I deal, I'm dealing with a lot of people that are in the hospitality business that's either backed out or they've changed their mind at this time. Um, but at the end of the day, I think, you know, it's understandable, but it, you know, people are uncertain. And when you have uncertainty and you have consumer confidence uh, going away for the, at least this time period, you're going to see, start to see people save their, their money. Um, they're going to start stocking up on things, as you saw. And, um, you know, that's kind of the things I'm going through. So being at home and being quarantined from this virus, you know, it's something that nobody wanted, but you got to make the best of it. And, you know, all I can do is keep pushing forward. So I'm right across the street from the airport. You look behind me, an airplane just landed. 
And um, so there is some very limited air, tra uh, air travel going on right now. And so I just wanted to come over here and take a look at this and see what's going on with it. Usually you can see a lot of airplanes coming through right here landing. There's actually across the street, there's a, a place where you can go and watch the airplanes come in. We used to see four or five or six of these airplanes just coming in. So have the same feel for doom and gloom. You know, is the market gonna crash like, it, like people were thinking in 2007, eight and nine? What's going on, man? Um, so where do you go to go? Oh, she said something about taking me through a house or something or showing me some houses or something. Uh, well, so we have two models here. What, what is it that they're looking for? You're not looking for yourself? No, I'm not looking for myself. Oh, are you an agent? Is that I'm not an agent. No. I haven't seen less people. I mean, do you see that this housing market's going to all of a sudden stumble the other direction? Uh, I mean, I mean, I sure hope not. I mean, I don't know. but No I signs mean, that you've seen, right? I was going to say, I don't... Honestly, I, I mean, we still have people that are itching to close their homes as fast as we can. Yeah. You know what I mean? They want to get into a house fast. They want us to speed their schedule up for their homes. So, sure. You know, and there, I mean, these guys are paying top dollar. You know, they're not coming in here asking for discounts. You know, so they, I mean, they're still going to be at the top of the market when they close. And, and there's not many, is there a lot of people still getting those closing cost incentives and things like that? I mean, we still, I mean, we haven't changed our incentives. They've been the same since we started. Oh, okay. So, you know, we haven't, I mean, even our lock premiums have gone up. So, you know, yeah, I mean, everybody's, no, yeah. uh, everybody's has. I think it's a good barometer to look at new homes because, um, especially like for the, just the market in general, because if people stop going and buying new homes or they back out of their new homes or you see builders stop building, I think that's a good indication. That's a, that's a horrible, yeah, that's a very bad sign. Basically. Yeah, because uh, then it's like, okay, wait a second, is <laughs> the builders in, yeah, in, in, in general. Like price reductions. Or, Correct. Or, um, way inflated incentives. You know, that's that's what happened in 2008. Right. Um, so this is different then. Oh, yeah, it's 100% different. I mean, this is, it's almost like a fabricated recession, I think. Because yeah. it's not, I mean, it's not, I mean, look, all the fundamentals of the stock market are still there, but it's, for some reason it still keeps dropping. Correct. You know, all these businesses are all still fundamentally strong, except for, I mean, there's a lot of small businesses that are hurting. Yeah. But that's just because of what's happening right now. You know what I mean? And that could be a temporary thing, or they may close the doors completely. Uh, but... It's like I said, I mean, it's what's going on is really affecting the housing market so much. I mean, I just think, building. you know, like, you know, there's a lot of people that are starting to hoard and you know how it goes. I mean, everybody's yeah. kind of like figuring out, okay, is this, is this going to be like where this whole thing just falls, you know? And it's, I, yeah. I, I don't see, I, I do see signs that there's, there's some issues somewhere, but that doesn't mean that there's people are going to go buy homes. And I think that no. the new well, home process, two homes today for, uh, I think at least two homes today. Yeah. Company. Yeah. You know, I don't see a problem. On the weekend over here, we usually sell we'll sell a bunch of them on the weekend. So I mean, people are still buying. All the other builders are still selling homes too. You know, we get the, the weekly report. Are you guys um, doing a lot of stuff online? Because like, so I know companies are starting to do um, more like online applications and online, like you said, the tours. We've but been, yeah, we've been doing online applications. I mean, we we only only almost do online applications. That's it now, right? So that's been what's been that way for years for us. Yeah, yeah. Um, we don't have people come in and meet with the limit, and that's been, I think, as long as I've been with Richmond for yeah. five years or so. So probably even before that. Nothing's really changed. What about people that just want to see the home, though? I mean, they don't. No, we offer Zoom meetings and stuff like that for yeah. those. You know, we can do like a Zoom meeting or yeah. FaceTime if they prefer. Sure. Um, I mean, we like say, even, even we just try to accommodate. Yeah. You know, we know there's a lot, a lot of people that want to be out, so yeah. Okay. Well, I, I can, if I can, I can take a look. So, who are the people to you that you're taking my my sister? Out, like, my sister. Well, it's it's not. I mean, it's only you, right? No, no, no. I know. Well, I'm assuming I you went into the builders as well, right? I mean, I'm sure they're not no, I you. honestly like. It's. The, I mean, you guys ask the right questions. You know, like, hey, you know, are, are you sick or do you? You know, and oh, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. So obviously, you're taking caution to that too. So right. and we wipe the like we. There's little traffic today. We usually wipe all the doors and hands down, you know, after every Yeah, I mean, it, time. that's me too. Like, but I mean, I go to health food stores. Like, there's a ton here. Yeah. You know, there's a couple still open, but they're yeah, they're, yeah, they're making yeah. you just like in Sprouts and and some Six of these. Feet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I mean, you got the little markers. Lines of yeah. The yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I, was, I was actually at Sam's Club this morning. It was surprising me that there wasn't a lot of people there. Uh, but yeah, you have the dots and the lines. Keep your distance. Everybody's everybody. just distance, and they wipe know. everything down after everybody uses the uh, self checkout. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. You know, I think it's good. I mean, for the time being, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah. If if we have I mean, again, yeah, if we do the best we can, we have like uh, aerosol bottles too, and then we spray it and, and wipe it sure. down. I mean, you know, we're hoping they're not touching stuff that we normally would. No, and actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my elbow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like. 
Fast forwarding to today, the Fed is putting more money in circulation just like they did in 2007 and 8. But this is different. They also passed the CARES Act. This will help with forbearance on mortgages for up to 12 months, meaning you don't have to pay your mortgage possibly for up to 12 months. They're also waiving any assessment, penalties, or late fees. In addition, no foreclosures or evictions. So, with the Fed letting homeowners stay in their homes without making a mortgage payment, we will not see the same foreclosure rate we saw in 2007 and 8. Looking back at 2007 and 8, anybody that had a pulse could get a home loan. In today's world, banks have stricter loan guidelines, which contributes to better loan quality. Let's look at the comparison between 2007 and then 2020. If you look at what's going on with the credit score rating, you have to have a better credit score rating in today's world to extend or get a loan. Also, banks may require more money stored in your bank account, which is known as called reserves. And these reserves are extra money in case something goes wrong where you can't pay your mortgage. Also, gift funds. This is money given to you for a loan. There may be overlays or additional guidelines needed to retrieve a gift fund. Also, unlike 2007 and 8, underwriting guidelines overall are just a lot more restrictive. So after speaking to four different builders, they all came up with the same conclusion. This is not the same market as 2007, 8, and 9. What they're looking at is this is a totally different animal. This is a pandemic that a lot, putting a lot of people out of the market because they're losing their jobs. Um, but it's not the same feel as we talked about because in 2007, 8, and 9, what was happening was people were getting into homes that could not afford these homes. And also people were refinancing, which is not talked a lot about their equity out of their homes. So the refinance boom was really, really big. And so what was going on is people were just walking away for their home, from their homes. This is different. We're going through a pandemic and you know we're going through a process where people are staying in their homes or not having to lose their residence or lose where they're currently living because banks are willing to help with this whole CARES Act. So you're seeing a lot of people sitting on the sidelines. I asked them, you know, the volume is less. They said no. And so you'll start to see if, if these builders start to put out incentives, um, maybe you know higher closing costs paid or price reduction, then you may see that obviously our housing market is going through some turmoil. Now, you also wanna look at what's contributing right now and what is gonna happen, what's the outcome for all of this pandemic. Well, we're gonna to start to see a three to six month process of slowing down. A lot of people are retracting, pulling their house off the market there's also going to be a shortage of homes. Hopefully this has helped you as a consumer out there. If you're looking to buy a home, this might help your position. You know, if you had that hint of caution, maybe it's going to push you back into the market. We'll pay attention and look for my next video and we'll talk to you then. Yeah.